The 8A game is this week, and some huge visitors made it to Tuscaloosa, including some guys from not 2025, not 2026, 2027? Are you crazy? Yeah, we're going to talk about all of that right here on the Bama Tailgate YouTube channel. Also, uh, basketball, hey, the way they wrapped it up, Nate Oates saying this isn't the end, this is just the beginning. So a uh, lot to yell roll tide about. We're going to do it right here on the show. Make sure that you guys like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Hit the bell so you know when we're live. And let's get this party started. to everybody there he is big sexy the big sexy elmo in the house brett elmore i'm mick gillespie you know us from uh obviously being here every day but you know him from wjlx and jasper listening to the morning show and some of you guys have actually told him like he knows that you listen to the morning show that he hosts which is really good because you met him on here at brett elmore show i'm at broadcaster mick um Here we are on a Monday, Brett, and um, it is – it's a couple days since the Final Four, and honestly, man, I got to tell you, I saw the team come back from uh, from Phoenix, the response that Alabama fans had for them. It doesn't feel like the end. It really does feel like the beginning of something special. Yeah, yeah. We still have the Monday morning hangover from that Saturday night of of basketball. Still kind of, you know, depressed over the loss a little bit. But uh, no, you're right. It doesn't seem like the end. It seems like the beginning. And and you're also right about um, the excitement level. You know, there was a lot of fans at the airport to, to greet the team as they came back home yesterday. And um, I just feel like... Um, uh, we've sent a warning shot around uh, the country that, hey, uh, Alabama's got a pretty good basketball program, is building a pretty good basketball program, and they're going to be a team to be reckoned with, um, not only in the SEC, but on the national level. And um, I'm excited about the future. Let's build that new arena uh, Let's uh, and enjoy the ride, I think. Yeah, no doubt. I'm with you on that. Football is in full swing right now as far as the spring football goes. A couple more practices, and then Saturday's A-Day, and then things are really going to heat up because next Monday, (laughs) a week from now, the transfer portal opens. We're going to have some guys probably go, hey, I'm out of here, and we're going to be out there going like this, coming in. But um, it's this is really interesting. And, man, how about a lot of talk about Ty Simpson and this – uh, this this spring and maybe with these new coaches, but having a lot of success. I think he threw a couple of touchdown passes uh, in the scrimmage. Uh, was it Saturday, I think, uh, the scrimmage? Uh, but, uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, talk about him. Uh, you're, you're starting to hear a lot of rumbles out of, out of the spring practice as we are winding down. Like you mentioned, we have two more practices to go, uh, regular practices. Those will be uh, – tomorrow and Thursday, uh, ahead of the annual A-Day game, which will be Saturday. Um, and all of that, all of those rumors and kind of uh, uh, things that we're hearing, uh, it'll all culminate on Saturday, and uh, it should make for an interesting day. It should make for an interesting scrimmage uh, for the fans. And uh, let's see what it's all about. You know, Let's see the progress that this team has made under Coach DeBoer uh, and, um, obviously it's just, uh, it's just spring. And, and like you mentioned, the portal will open up on Monday, a week from today. So we'll see a lot of traffic, uh, probably in and out, uh, something that, uh, we'll look forward to covering, but, uh, uh, you know, I'm just interested to see, uh, uh, the new era of Alabama football being unveiled. Me too. And, and I can't wait until Saturday. And Brett, you and I are going to have to do some shows. We're just going to have to. We're going to have to do a, a post game show, or maybe we just jump on in like the fourth quarter, you know, and just start going. But 
we, we, we have to communicate with everyone as we're watching about what we've seen. Mm-hmm. You like that idea? Yeah. I like that idea. Uh, let's, let's, do let's do it. All um, right, let's talk. What's that? I said you can pop some popcorn and and oh, we'll, uh, our, our, our get you some pistachios and oh, and uh, and it's, how about a cold? <laughs> how about a nice cold beer? There you go. Yeah, that's what I like. All right, let's talk about some of the guys uh, who were in town, and and let's get into these youngsters. Which is crazy to think that it's the the we're recruiting the class of twenty twenty seven right now. Yeah, isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, uh, a couple of kids were uh, were on campus uh, this past weekend. Jabarius Garer. Uh, 6'2", 200 edge guy from Viger High School, the Viger Wolves down in your neck of the woods, Mobile. He was on campus. A uh, lot of um, interest from uh, Alabama and Arkansas and Auburn, mm-hmm. Auto, Alabama State. But, uh, yeah, the class of 2027. So he was on campus, enjoyed his time via his uh, Twitter um uh, and also via uh, Twitter, Bryce Daniels, young man from uh, Keystone Heights, Florida, Keystone Heights High School. He, too, class 2027. He's uh, going to be an offensive lineman that folks are looking at. 6'4", 290 pounds. Uh, and, and you, you kind of chuckle a little bit because it, he's 6'4", 290. Remember, he's the class of 2027, so he's wow. fairly young. Uh, and a lot of growing to do so, but uh, he too enjoyed his uh, visit. I believe that uh, he visited Ole Miss as well. So a couple of guys there uh, that were um, uh, on campus. Uh, Daniels also has uh, been an unofficial visit to Florida State. So those are a couple of names for the future that you could be looking at, and uh, that just kind of shows you, Mick, of how. This staff is laser focused on this program and looking uh, far ahead in in the recruiting process. Yeah, one guy who's not so far off is Jarquez Carter, who uh, has already been offered. He's a 6'2", 270-pound defensive lineman who hails from Newberry, Florida. But he was there, and he said he loved his visit. He looks like a football player, you know? He's an defensive lineman. He just has that look. He looks mean, and that's what you're <laughs> going to have. They're on the defensive side of that football. Also plays basketball. Um, yeah, he, he, uh, he, he too was on campus. Uh, uh, Florida State's after him, uh, Georgia, Miami. Uh, but uh, Carter, um, he's in between three and four stars. Some, some sites have him as a four star, some as a three. But uh, class of 2025, yeah, not – not uh, not that far ahead for him, but uh, good to see him on campus. Yeah, and and I and I love it when you see these guys come to Tuscaloosa and say, "Man, I really enjoyed it." And I think yeah. that 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 is an area where Coach DeBoer has done an excellent job. Not that Nick Nick Saban did a great job too, like, but you're trying to take the baton from Nick Saban. To keep this thing going, it takes those guys going. Hey, I really like Alabama. Yeah, yeah, and they and they have their own way of doing it. Of course, uh, you know, Coach Saban was a master uh, in recruiting. He he could he could do it well, and he uh, he was always on the road visiting. And you know, just imagine a Nick Saban, you know, flying into your your high school on a helicopter and landing on the football <laughs> field. Right. You know, that's that's when all, the whole school starts going. Oh my. God. God, Coach Saban's here to see so and so. You know, if you were a player right then at that school, you were like, "This is so cool." I yeah, that's a big man. deal. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know, uh, Saban had his way of doing things, and, and so does Coach DeBoer. So, mm-hmm. um, uh, uh, and and it they, they it it seems to work for both for both of them actually. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean that's it. I mean, you have to have that celebrity status in the South. Yeah, when it comes to trying to get these guys to go to your school, uh, and, but, and, but, and 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 let's face it, DeBoer he's uh, uh, he's not at that point yet. You know, he he hasn't coached a game in Alabama. Saban was the goat, uh, but uh, I tell you, just like we've talked about on this show, I I, we, I really like what I see so far. Oh yeah, same here. 
What's the so what's the schedule for this week? Uh, they'll practice two days. Uh, they'll practice on Tuesday and Thursday. Now this part of, uh, you know, that, well, they, they, they have two regular practices left and then the big eight day game, uh, up on uh, Saturday. Don't know what the weather looks like yet, uh, for that. I haven't looked at the weather that far ahead, but, uh, uh hopefully we'll have a, a good look at spring day. You know how it is on campus during a day, Mick, you've been a part of so many of them and, yeah, and uh, I've, I've been to eight days several times, and uh, it's it's a great day, especially when you have those sunshine and blue skies, and great spring weather to enjoy the campus all day long because you're going to have like softball and baseball playing before and after, and you're going to have the football game, and you're going to have Bryant to Museum open, yeah. and, you know all all the stuff that that comes along with it. So I know everyone is looking forward to it, and and if uh, and if you can make make the trip to Tuscaloosa and. and and show support for this uh, uh, new coach, this uh, new team, and uh, kind of kind of show out. Yeah, and and no, we're going to be on, um, you know, at some point during the day live. Sure. So, you know, we'll follow it up. But um, yeah, it's ex- an exciting week, just because we're finally going to get a look at what the future of Alabama football is. We know that's going to be on offense. Alabama's always played defense, you know, so I'm not yeah. worried about that. But we've had so many – I mean, it's been so crazy since Nick Saban retired. You know, like I, one guy – we get an offensive coordinator. He goes to the NFL. You know, guys transferring. Yeah. One guy transferred back. I mean, just just insane, man. Just insane. It, it's We're, been a lot of – process. Um, it, it's been a lot of uh, – like you say, it's been a it, – it's it's the transition and it's it's all been kind of what we do, and that's talk about it. Uh, and and try to get the best information we could possibly get, but finally we're going to get to see a product on the field, and we're gonna we're gonna see you know kind of where we stand uh, going into uh, the summer and then into uh, fall camp. That's right. That's right. All right. We'll talk about your show, and then I'm going to tell everyone about Pearl River. All right, uh, Brett Elmore show on uh, WJLX 101.5 FM. You can uh, stream us live at WJLX1015.com. All of the streaming apps, iHeartRadio, tune in, the custom WJLX app in your uh, in your uh, uh, store, your I- iPhone or Android, whatever. And um, look forward to seeing you every morning, 6 till 10. All right. And uh, don't forget, we're brought to you by Pearl River Resort over in Philadelphia, Mississippi, celebrating 30 years right now. So legal sports book, just like in Vegas, uh, the timeout sports lounge, which is in there, 20 TVs with everything on. You can bet on, you know, all the sports around the world. You got table games and slots. You got dancing rabbit golf course. And it's it, you're starting to feel it now. It's time to get out there and hit the ball. It's the Augusta. You can play. Um, and then this incredible, I mean, absolutely incredible concert lineup with some of the best acts, Brett, that are out there. Yeah, of course. Uh, you got the wallflowers coming up and. Uh, Big and Rich and uh, Brian McKnight and and uh, Boyce Ben, you're gonna have all of them there at uh, Pearl River Resort. To, and if you're uh, uh, if you get the itch, you're, tonight would be a great night to go to Pearl River and watch the uh, the, the finals of the NCAA basketball tournament. It would be a, a great night to watch it and put a put a little action on it. Put a little action. All right, guys. Well, the action right now is us saying, saying thank you for hanging out with us and giving you a big roll tide. 